April 25th, 1986, a day that will forever linger on the memories of the people of Pripet, a small city in the Ukraine, located on the outskirts of the Soviet Union. It was a fairly new city, bustling with young families eager to start a new life. Unfortunately, they couldn't even dream of the catastrophe they were about to encounter in less than 24 hours. Their lives were about to be changed forever. One innovation meant to provide the people with a new and better way to live their lives, but ironically destroyed. A part of the Soviet Union's response to Reagan's Star Wars Strategic Defense Initiative, or SDI, was the RBMK reactor. In 1983, Reagan publicized the SDI as his latest move in the arms race. This offensive sprint ahead put the Soviets on the defense, searching for a way to tie the score. The new reactor provided a way to get plutonium for nuclear weapons, the basis of their appeal. The former Soviet Union built 17 nuclear plants based on the RBMK design. RBMK is an acronym meaning Channelized Large Power Reactor. This design was used at the Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant, the site of the world's worst commercial nuclear accident yet to date. The RBMK is significant because it is different from all other reactor designs. Unlike other reactor models, the RBMK is derived from a design primarily for plutonium production. Plutonium was wanted by Russia for nuclear weapons. The first plutonium production reactors began in operation in 1948. An RBMK is a pressurized water cooler reactor that uses graphite as a moderator, which is not found in any other power reactor in the world. One major problem with the RBMK design is the high positive void coefficient. The water coolant heated due to the reactions and converted to steam, no longer cooling and slowing the neuron chain reaction. The most significant difference between the RBMK design and most of the world's nuclear power plants is the RBMK's lack of a massive steel or concrete containment structure as the final barrier against large releases of radiation in an accident. This combined with the high positive void coefficient helped contribute to the disaster of Chernobyl. At 1.23 in the morning of April 26, 1986, there was a disastrous chain reaction in the core of reactor number four. A power surge ruptured the uranium fuel rods while a steam explosion blew the roof off the reactor. The fatal reactor exploded, causing a large release of radiation poisoning which spread through a 300 mile radius. It is estimated that over 1,750,000 people were exposed to the radiation. The government waited an entire week before informing the public of the disaster. An accident has occurred at the Chernobyl Atomic Power Plant as one of the atomic reactors was damaged. Measures are being taken to eliminate the consequences of the accident. Aid is being given to those affected a government commission has been set up. It happened late Friday night. That morning, no one suspected anything. I sent my son to school. My husband went to the barbers. I'm preparing lunch when my husband comes back. There's some sort of fire at the nuclear plant, he says. I can still see the bright crimson glow. It was like the reactor was glowing. This wasn't any ordinary fire. It was some sort of shining. It was pretty. That evening, everyone spilled out into their balconies, and those who didn't have them went to friends' houses. People brought their kids out, picked them up, and said, Look, remember. They stood in the black dust, talking, breathing, wondering at it. We didn't know that death could be so beautiful. After the accident at Chernobyl, the primary concern was to reduce the positive void coefficient. All operating RBMK reactors in the former Soviet Union therefore had the following changes implemented to improve operating safety. The installation of 80 additional absorbers in the core to inhibit operation at low power. Improvements of the reactor cavity over pressure protection systems. Improvements to the emergency core cooling system. 
the redesign of control rods. These factors have reduced the positive void coefficient from plus 4.5 beta to plus 0.7 beta, eliminating the possibility of another power excursion. Gorbachev did not rise in the ranks of the Kremlin hierarchy of the USSR until 1982, when Premier Yuri Andropov adopted him as his protege. In March of 1985, following the deaths of Andropov and Konstantin Chernenko, Gorbachev was elected the General Secretary of the Communist Party. An expensive arms race in space threatened to tax a weak Soviet economy and overwhelm Soviet technological capabilities which explains the poorly designed and executed Chernobyl power plant. By adding a measure of democratic freedoms in the USSR, Gorbachev hoped to achieve glasnost, Russian for openness, and perestroika, Russian for restructure. Gorbachev's commitment to glasnost was questioned when he failed to apologize for the Chernobyl disaster in his long overdue address. On February 8, 1988, an article was published in Time magazine discussing the obvious crumble of the Kremlin's power. The Kremlin has issued a statement saying that the USSR will continue with its plans to increase nuclear power output by 2000. But officials had underestimated the fears created by Chernobyl. A Communist Party youth newspaper uncovered that the government had made an unprecedented decision to stop construction of an atomic power plant in a southern Russian city. The cause of this decision? The city's residents, and those surrounding it, were adamantly against the building. The population of around two dozen localities had protested atomic energy stations being built in their areas. This outbreak of fear-based rebellion showed how the weaknesses under the Kremlin's foundation were growing. The government of the Soviet Union has left our people with a deep mistrust of authorities. Not surprisingly, people in the region have very little faith in public information particularly information about their own safety. People do not trust radiation safety labels on their food products. They do not trust any home produce. They do not trust the authorities. Even people in very mildly contaminated areas who are not at risk from radiation-related health problems believe that they are in danger and live in fear. Every illness and abnormality is blamed on Chernobyl and people are often afraid to have children. Women who have moved away from Chern the Chernobyl region often try to keep their former home a secret for fear that men will not wish to marry them. Limited knowledge on the long-term effects of exposure to radiation, along with the general distrust of public information and the inevitable rumors of hideous ailments and genetic mutations, have introduced psychological trauma and prolonged panic in the hearts and minds of millions of people. Though it was over two decades ago, people still feel the impact of the MK reactor in Chernobyl today. The disaster has led to growing awareness around the world. The city of Perpet is an abandoned wasteland, taken over by nature in the hopes of reversing the effects of mankind's carelessness. Organizations such as the World Nuclear Association and the International Atomic Agencies were created and expanded to ensure that nothing as catastrophic as Chernobyl would ever happen again. The question we must ask ourselves. Is this disaster a product of poor design? Or mankind's flaws? 300,000 died in Ukraine alone from radiation sickness. The blast was the equivalent of 500 Hiroshima explosions. 11,800 square kilometers were contaminated. 5,000 cases of thyroid cancer in children. 600,000 liquidators were affected. 5 million are still contaminated. 93,000 fatal cancer cases. 116,000 people have actually 2,200,000 still live in contaminated areas today. a very difficult problem. I don't think anybody has ever dealt with it. Western nuclear experts are saying it is the worst nuclear plant disaster in history. 